Cultured meat will become ubiquitous. I like to envision a world where we can order little tea bags full of stem cells that can drop them in and produce whatever type of meat they want. That would be a pretty amazing way to have the most local meat you could ever have, where you could really democratize the field of meat production. It's hard to be more connected than watching it grow right there. We all feel differently about eating meat. We feel pressure to question our choices now. We are rational, but we struggle with extending that rationality across the board. I have it because it's there. We're not around the happening in Press a Button and get a chicken. Keeping livestock for human consumption, I don't have a moral problem with. We choose comfort. I went from vegan to vegetarian. I didn't want it to become this kind of all-encompassing viewpoint. I think he was a quite selfish in, in our nature. We're like, oh yeah, I know there's a bit of a plastic problem, but it's right if I get a bag. And I think the exact same thing happens with meat. The taste of meat is hard to replicate. I wanted poor quality meat, so maybe it was all the other rubbish that was in it. It's functional, a response to what my body is asking for. I haven't eaten meat for, like, I don't even know how many years. Do you know, I don't think I could honestly say what I like about cheap sausages. There's something... Frankfurter. Pork. I prefer chicken. They don't want to see themselves bleeding, their loved ones bleeding. When it comes to meat, you're like, oh, my burger needs to bleed. It feels really barbaric. And then suddenly, just something almost magical happens where you manage to forget all that as soon as you even just smell it. We have to get creative about how we're going to satisfy our protein desires. Rather than having to raise an entire animal only to slaughter them and then disassemble them into parts, we can grow those parts on our own from animal cells outside of the animal's body. Some in the field are just calling it cultured meat. It ought to be called just meat, because that's exactly what it is. It should feel like meat. It should have the same sort of texture, taste on your tongue as meat does. Char grilled on the outside and soft in the middle. I'm not even sure if it has to look like chicken. Cultured meat would need to add flavor to the food around it. These things in incubators grown to then be our meat. That's just as bonkers as seeing a lovely cow having a good time eating some grass and then obliterating it to serve a few people. The story with the lab-grown meat is the cow's there, and then the lab-grown meat's on the plate, but the cow's still there. I think that would resonate with a lot of people, and they'd be like, oh, so the cow wasn't harmed? The cow's still okay? And you could give the cow a name, like Betsy or whatever. It may be that it's not just mimicking the current types of meat that we eat today, but they may open up entirely novel culinary experiences similar to the way that we have different types of cheeses today. You could take chicken, duck, and turkey cells and grow them all together, like in a woven form. How often do you find emu meat? It's just no different to making synthetic Class A drugs. You can cut them with anything. People don't have a, such a strong opinion about science until it involves messing with animals. The concerns are the same, no matter what we eat. We want to know where our food comes from and what is the impact on the environment. I cannot really see how something that's produced in a laboratory would taste the same. I really like everything quite natural when it comes to food. Is it pure meat or are there lots of additives in it? Knowledge and finances, that would put on the level playing field. We would feel some form of happiness that we've created something from nothing. In the future, our relationship with other animals is going to be one that is based far less on violence and domination and far more on compassion and respect. Just in the same way that Copernicus and Galileo helped us to understand that we are not the center of the physical universe, we may soon come to understand that maybe we're not the center of the moral universe either.